When we play a game, one of the biggest things we take for granted is how character animations seem to work seamlessly at all times. Not only are there dozens of well-crafted animations transitioning between themselves, but there are specialized techniques used to blend animations together, making them seem highly realistic. And when a game doesn't use these techniques, well, it results in odd-looking, abrupt transitions. So how can we use these techniques in our own games? Well, one of the most important techniques is using a blend tree. So what does a blend tree do? It's easiest to explain by example. In Honkai Star Rail, we have a pretty complex third-person player controller, which showcases excellent blending of animations. Let's take the simplest example. We start in the idle state, press forward to begin walking, then stop and return to idle. The easiest way to do this is to define a transition from idle to walk, then back from walk to idle. And to make it smooth, we define a transition so we smoothly interpolate between the two states. But here's where the problem happens. What if we start walking, then stop walking faster than the transition? We start to get delayed animations. Okay, but can't we just make the transitions faster? Well, you can, but then you start transitioning less smoothly. Now it's easy to understand what a blend tree can do. A blend tree adaptively changes the transition between two states. Back to Honkai Star Rail, we see if we quickly start walking, then stop, the player adaptively transitions between idle and run depending on how long you press forward. For more complexity, you can start to layer in additional transitions to and from the states of a blend tree like we see when we switch directions here, or stop from a sprint. So how can we make this type of animation system? Any major game engine will have blend trees built into them, so I'm going to just show this in Unity, but all of the concepts carry over to other engines. Okay, so here's an empty project, except we have an environment to work in. I'm going to import a character and animations from the Unity Asset Store. This one is called Free Low Poly Human RPG Character. Let's drag the character prefab onto our scene. You can see it already has an animator component on it, and if we click the animator controller and double click in our project assets, it brings up the animator window. So right now, our animator is telling us that on entry, we transition to the idle state. Normally, what we would do is add more animations from our assets, then make transitions from any of the states to each of them. Then, we could create a boolean parameter and set our transition condition to when the parameter is true. But we don't want to define hard transitions for all of these states, we want to make them into a blend tree instead. So let's actually delete all of these and instead make a blend tree, which I'll name Player Locomotion. We're going to select 2D freeform directional for the blend type, then we got to feed in parameters to control our blend tree. Let's name them velocity x and velocity y, which by the way, we would want to control these values via a script at some point. Now we set our parameters for the blend tree and add some animations or motions. You can also add them in the animator itself, but I'll just add a bunch in the inspector. Okay, now drag in all the animations you want as part of the blend tree. I'll go ahead and use all the ones that we had previously. Okay, so we have our whole blend tree, but how do we actually set it up properly? If you look at this 2D image at the top, you can see each of our motions are represented in a 2D space. We want to set each motion's value to correspond to the direction of our player velocity. So for idle, 0, 0 makes sense, we're not actually moving. Then for the run forward, I'm going to set this to 0 and 0 0.5 for the Y, because we also have a sprint, which I'll set to 0 and 1, which is when our Y velocity is the fastest. Okay. Then I just set an intermediate value for all the other animations corresponding to the correct direction, and we're done. Let's check out our blend tree, it really is that easy. So I can manually drag around the velocity parameters here for testing purposes, and if we play our scene, we can see our animations starting to take effect. Increasing velocity Y, we start to run, then sprint, and we can smoothly transition between these different animations. That means we can even transition into a backwards walking state smoothly. Okay, let's see what happens when velocity x is changed. We get this kind of funny looking strafing motion and when we increase it, it blends between the two sides correctly. And for the final test, which this is amazing, we can start running forward, then increase our velocity x. And we see that our blend tree creates a blend of multiple animations, which makes an interpolated animation between our strafing and running. Do you guys want a full tutorial on this? Drop a comment below if you do and help me by subscribing and liking to get this video in the algorithm. Peace.